Today on Excite Video Magazine, we remove, restore, and replace steering wheels on our JA11 Jimny. Hey guys, I'm Dustin Mankin. Last week we posted the Valentine's special and in that special we had a steering wheel swap scene and I had to cut it down for two reasons. Uh, one, I wanted to improve the pacing of the Valentine's special video and two, the video was running really long before we cut down some of that stuff. Uh, it was approaching like 28 minutes and I know nobody has a, that much of an attention span when they watch YouTube. But I did want to show the video uh, in its entirety. So I'm deciding to upload it today in its original cut before I pared it down. And I'm doing that because some people may want to see the whole thing. And also some people may not want to watch and sift through the whole Valentine's Day special just to get to that segment. So it might be helpful for future viewers that want to see some more stuff on the Jimny. So without further ado, here we go. And she don't trade it in the CRV. She had a steering wheel that she really liked on there. So what I did was I went to Up Garage and I bought one of their junky $5 wheels out of the discount box. And we threw that on the CRV when we traded it in so that we keep, keep her steering wheel. This classic wood grain wheel is made by OBA in Italy. It has a diameter of 350 millimeters, has a polished center with wood veneer grip, and averages between about 50 and 90 United States dollars on Yahoo Auctions Japan. For installing, I bought some stainless steel screws from a friend of mine's home center. I am using a three, a number three metric Allen key. Now, I do have a steering wheel for the 180 already, oh, but uh, this guy may end up going in anyways just for my nostalgia period. This is uh, pretty close. Oh, I'm glad they're all falling in the carpet. This is pretty close to the generation of my 180, so I might steal this from the wife and put this guy in the 180. Let's see what's going on here. Pull the horn connector loose and the wheel comes free. One thing that I wanted to show you guys is a little something called pikol. Now this stuff is like magic in a can. In Japan they call it pikoru and uh, it is a metal polish. It's not really hard to use. You don't have to buff and buff and buff and, and wear your arm out trying to get this stuff to work. It just does it. So we're gonna put this on the wheel and we're gonna see if we can't bring a little bit of life back into this guy. So just take a little, I'm just using a regular paper towel. It would be better if you used a soft, lint-free uh, polishing cloth, but I don't have any, so this is gonna do. Uh, that's probably actually a little bit too much, so just rub it into the rag and then just wipe it on and you can see it's already starting to pull some of the uh, tarnish out of that wheel okay and then with a the clean side now if you want to put a little bit more uh, elbow into it you can normally I would not be doing this on top of a hood of a car, but it's off-road and dents and ruggedness are the aesthetic. Look at that. Look at all that black that's coming off of this, man. That's where the Picol is working and taking the tarnish out. I mean, guys, that that is just like a night and day difference. Uh, it went from looking like a 20-year-old wheel to like almost brand new except for the wood you know I mean some of that veneer that's coming off we can't fix that but that's just the character of the wheel the wheels old uh, it has a personal sentimental value and to be honest in the Jimny those type of wheels always look cool so 
Uh, definitely, this stuff is awesome. They do market it, obviously, to foreign countries because if you can look right there, there's the English instructions on the label. Definitely recommend it. Well, now that we got the wheel finished and I do have the horn button snapped in, it's time to get this guy into the car. I'm just going to make sure that all the holes are lining up, and they are. I'm not really torquing these down yet, just getting them tight. I'm going to start to tighten on the bottom. I'm going to take this guy a long way so I can get some torque. Put that guy in. Jump up across to here. You just want to apply to opposite sides is the main point. No wobble. The last thing you want to do is you want to push the wire on the horn. And looks pretty centered. Then just push the horn down. And it's in. Okay, and there it was. Uh, the wheel looks great, and I possibly picked up another spare wheel to put in the 180. So, speaking of that, what should I use? Should I use the Momo Race, or should I use the Momo Type V36? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share for me, and subscribe for you, because there's more JDM content, more JDM Live content coming up, and you don't want to miss it. Peace.